Hello students, today we will learn about this gray surfaces radiation exchange and heat transfer among gray surfaces. So, you would have learned in my previous lecture of radiation heat transfer about the reciprocity theorem and the summation rule as well as I believe that you might be knowing about uh, uh, Stephen Boltzmann law and what is a black body. Otherwise, you can go through this link. Okay, so let's proceed. See, first of all, we will re recall some concepts of radiation heat transfer. Suppose that this is a body on which radiations are falling. Amount is Q. Q amount of watts are falling on this body. Then, with those radiations, three things can happen. One, some radiations are reflected back, means striking and going away. Some are absorbed and some are transmitted, means they are just passing through. Okay, some are reflected, the amount is say QR, some are absorbed, the amount is say QA and some are transmitted. Okay, these three things can happen only with anybody in case radiations are falling on it. Okay, so if we perform the energy balance, then Q must be equals to QR plus QA plus QT. Reason being all these three are derived from this energy. Okay, and in case I am dividing this equation both the sides with Q itself, then at LHS I will get 1, at RHS it will be QA by Q and QR by Q, QT by Q, all are added. Okay. Now this QA by Q is the amount of radiations absorbed with respect to the amount of radiations which are falling. It is called as absorptivity A. Similarly, this QR by Q is called as reflectivity. Okay. The amount of radiations which are reflected compared to amount of radiations which are falling and denoted by R. And QT by Q is transmissivity. Okay. So, these are denoted by A, R and T. So, A plus R plus T is equals to 1. Okay. So, this A denotes the absorption capacity of the body, R denotes the reflection capacity of the body and T denotes the with how much capacity the radiations can pass through. Okay. So, this is uh, derived from this energy balance equation. One more thing that with radiation heat transfer, there is one more parameter called as emissivity. Emissivity is defined as capacity of body to emit radiations. Okay, emission means when a body is at temperature T and it's, it starts emitting radiations. So, the capacity of body of emitting radiation is denoted by emissivity and the symbol is epsilon. Okay, so in numbers, the emissivity of a body and absorptivity are same because it is Kirchhoff's law that good absorbers are good emitters more amount of radiations a body will absorb, more amount of radiations the body will emit, like this, okay. So, in numbers, epsilon and this A are same, okay. Now, let us proceed. Suppose that this is a gray body and opaque, opaque means the radiations cannot pass through. If radiations are falling on it, then only two things can happen, it will be absorbed or reflected, okay. So, if it is opaque body, it means what? For this T, we will keep it 0. So, only A plus R equals to 1. A plus R equals to 1 and we know this thing that absorptivity and emissivity are same. So, therefore, we can write emissivity plus R equals to 1. Okay. Now, suppose G amount of radiations are falling on it in watt per meter square, G amount. So, what will happen? Some amount will be reflected because it has some R with it. This surface has R. So, the amount will be R into G according to this rule. R into Q will give what? The amount of radiations are reflected. Similarly, over here, R into G is the amount which is uh, reflected. Similarly, some amount will be absorbed and after absorption it will emit also because if a body is absorbing radiation, it will, it can emit also. Good absorbers are good emitter, I already told. Now, the radiations which are outcoming from this surface contains two types of, of radiation. One is reflected and one is emitted. Okay. So, the combination of these two, the reflected radiations that is equals to Rg, and the emitted radiation that is equals to Ag in place of A, I can write epsilon also or I can write A also. So, these the combination of these two are denoted by J called as radiosity of the surface. Okay. So, in place of this Ag, I can write epsilon G also because in numbers A and epsilon are same. Okay. Now, one more thing which must be kept in mind that for a black body, the radiations which are emitted from the surface is given by sigma t to the power 4. This is called a Stephen Boltzmann law. In case it is a gray surface, then we have to multiply the emissivity of the surface with it, with the same equation. 
so the radiations emitted from a gray surface can be written as epsilon eb because sigma t to the whole is equals to eb okay so in case i am writing this equation j equals to rg plus ag so this ag is the emitted part but for gray body we can also write it as epsilon eb so in place of this ag i can write epsilon eb also because this is one of the basic concept of a gray surface okay for black surface it equals to sigma t to the 4 for gray surface epsilon sigma t to the 4 okay that is equal to epsilon eb okay so since ag corresponds to the amount of radiations which are emitted so that can also be written as epsilon eb okay so furthermore we know this that for this body opaque body and gray epsilon plus r equals to 1 so r can be written as 1 minus epsilon so over here i have written in place of this r i have written 1 minus epsilon okay so furthermore in case i am taking g at one side then this equation can be derived from this equation itself so j minus uh, epsilon eb upon 1 minus epsilon okay now these are the radiations which are coming out from this surface that is radiosity in case i talk about the net amount of radiations which are coming out net means whatever it outgoing minus whatever incoming okay suppose i say outgoing radiosity is 100 watts per meter square and incoming radiation is 80 watt per meter square then 100 minus 80 net radiations are coming out will be 20 so what i have to do whatever radiation which are coming out minus whatever is incoming so over here i can write j minus g so j is j and g i have already derived this j minus epsilon eb upon 1 minus epsilon so in case i am keeping the value of g over here ultimately after rearrangements from this equation i will get this that j minus g is equals to epsilon eb minus j upon 1 minus epsilon furthermore this is in watt per meter square in case i want how many watts are coming out how much net heat transfer it is occurring in watts this is in watt per meter square just i have to multiply with the area of surface so over here i have multiplied with the area so q equals to j minus g into a so at rhs also i have to multiply with a so this can further be written as eb minus j upon 1 minus epsilon upon a epsilon the rearrangement I have done over here okay so final formula for a gray surface from which radiations are coming out q is equals to eb minus j upon 1 minus epsilon upon now we will <coughs> learn this equation eb minus j upon 1 minus epsilon upon a epsilon that is equals to q so we will try to understand the significance of this equation by taking some numbers suppose i say that there is some gray body whose temperature is 300 kelvin okay now what is eb eb is the radiations emitted by a black body at same temperature okay actually this is gray but it will take the case that if it would have been a black body then the radiations emitted by that will be eb equals to sigma t2 or 4 sigma is the stephen boltzmann constant t is the temperature so temperature is 300 kelvin so eb will be equals to 5.67 into 10 to the minus 8 into 300 to the power 4 so eb ultimately after calculations is equals to 17.01 watt per meter square so if this gray body would have been a black body then this much radiations uh, this much watts per meter square would have been emitted now suppose j from the surface is say 10 watt per meter square suppose j radiosity is 10 watt per meter square then eb minus j will come out 17.01 minus 10 that is equals to plus 701 watt per meter square it means what that the radiations in overall coming out from the surface reason being the answer is positive if ev minus j is positive it means in overall radiations are coming out okay now in case we take this case uh, in which uh, the j means temperature remains the same so ev will be equal to 17.01 watt per meter square but suppose the the radiosity from the surface is 20 watt per meter square then eb minus j will come out negative that is equal to minus 2.99 it means that in overall the radiations are captured by the surface imparted on the surface furthermore we can easily see over here that the heat transfer at q is inversely proportional to this term 1 minus epsilon upon a epsilon means more this uh, denominator is lesser the q will be means it is acting as a sort of resistance of heat transfer so this is called as surface resistance of the gray surface this whatever term which is at the denominator 1 minus epsilon upon a epsilon is called as surface resistance and unit will be per meter square reason being the epsilon is unitless and a has unit meter square so 1 by meter square per meter square okay so 1 minus epsilon upon a epsilon is called as surface resistance of the gray surface now 
Suppose that radiation exchange is occurring between two surfaces 1 and 2 and in overall I am taking the traditions are going away from surface 1 and imparting on surface 2 means the direction of heat transfer is from 1 to 2. Okay. Now, what will be the heat which is emitted from this surface? Uh, J1 is the radicity of surface 1, J2 is the radicity of surface 2. Okay. So, Q1 will be equals to A1 J1 because J1 the unit is watt per meter square. J1 A1 equals to Q1. Now, I believe that you know the concept of this view factor which I have already told in my other lecture. In the beginning of this lecture, I already gave the link. Okay. So, J1 A1 into F12 will give whatever amount of radiations which are coming out from the surface 1 and imparted on this surface 2. F12 is the view factor means view factor of surface 2 with respect to 1. So, Q12 will equal to J1 A1 F1. Similarly, surface 2 is also emitting and the radiations are falling on surface 1. So, Q21 will be equal to what? J2 A2 is the area of surface 2, J2 A2 into F21. Okay. So, we know reciprocity theorem that is A1 F12 will equal to A2 F21. Okay. So, this Q12 can be written as J1 A1 F2. Q21 can also be written as J2 A1 F12 because both are same. So, the net exchange through this space will be equal to Q12 minus Q21, what, whatever going out and whatever incoming. So, writing the values of Q12 and Q21, ultimately A1 F12 is outside, J1 minus J2 inside. So, this is what the net heat transferred through this space between the two surfaces. So, which can also be written as J1 minus J2 upon 1 by A1 F12. So, since this is coming out in the denominator 1 by A1 F12, more this content will be lesser the heat transferred through this space will be. So, this is called as space resistance with the resistance which is offered by the space between the two gray surfaces. So, 1 by A1 F12 is called as space resistance. Now, suppose that there are two surfaces, two gray surfaces and in overall some heat transfer is taking place between the two that is Q net in overall. In totality Q net is going from surface 1 and ultimately reaching to surface 2. Okay. Now, first of all, this Q net will face the surface resistance of surface 1, then it will face the space resistance between the two surfaces and ultimately it will face the surface resistance of surface 2, all are in series one after another. Okay. Now, when Q net is just coming out from this surface 1, then it can be written as since it is facing the surface resistance. So, E V 1 minus J 1 upon 1 minus epsilon 1 upon A 1 epsilon 1, when it is just leaving this surface and facing the surface resistance of surface 1. Then, when it will pass through the region between the two surfaces, the space between the two surfaces, it will face the space resistance. So, then this Q net can be written as J1 minus J2 upon 1 by A1 F12. Similarly, when it will reach, this Q net will reach to surface 2, over there it will face the surface resistance of surface 2. So, Q net can also be written as J2 minus EV2 upon 1 minus epsilon 2 upon A2 epsilon 2. Okay. Now, you might be thinking that why here I have written J2 minus EV2. However, for this case, when it is coming out from surface 1, it is EV1 minus J1 because what I told that in overall, the radiations are coming out from surface 1 and reaching to surface 2. So, when the heat arrives on the surface, then EV minus J is negative. So, to make it positive because Q net cannot be negative, to make it positive, J2 minus EV2 has to be written for surface 2. Okay. Now, in case I cross multiply these three equations, means uh, EV1 minus J1 equals to Q net into 1 minus epsilon 1 upon A1 epsilon 1. So, ultimately, I will get these three equations 4, 5, and 6. EV1 minus J1 equals to Q net this, J1 minus J2 equals to Q net into this, and J2 minus EV2 equals to Q net into this term. Now, in case I am adding these three equations, what I will get? In the LHS, I will get uh, EV1 minus EV2 because all the other terms will be cancelled and in the RHS we will get Q net will be common and ultimately all these terms will be added inside the bracket like this. So, ultimately Q net is equals to EB1 minus EB2 upon this entire term which is in the bracket. So, this is what the net heat transferred between two gray surfaces facing the three resistances surface resistance of surface 1 and space resistance between the two surfaces and surface resistance of surface 2. This is the Q net. So, hope by this small lecture you would have understood about radiation exchange between gray surfaces and the mathematics associated with it. In the next lecture, we will learn that how to apply this formula on various heat transfer conditions.
on various heat transfer cases between two gray surfaces. 